I want to do a song for you that's kind of a new song, and um, I've been traveling a lot lately, and recently I was in Roswell, Georgia, playing at a club uh, called The Funny Farm. Not to brag or anything, but uh, <laughs> the club was attached to this whole area where they had video games and go-karts, and they had that ski ball. Have you ever done ski ball where you have the little bowling ball and you throw it and it goes in the hole? So I'm doing that just to kill time, and the guy next to me just, like, sucks. <laughs> like, he sucks. And I was like, dude, you suck, or whatever. And he's like, I'm only five. And I was like, I don't care, you know, how old you are. I'm just saying that you suck. But um, he started to cry. And uh, I guess I just remember thinking to myself, wow, you know, not only uh, does he suck, but he's like a pussy, apparently, too. So I just thought that was kind of weird, the way that went down. And then um, later that night, I went to my hotel room, and I started flipping through the channels. And they have one of those televangelist preacher guys that they have. And he was talking about how the end of the world is coming. And so I wrote a song called The End of the World, and I want to share it with you right now, and I hope you enjoy it. It's kind of a new song, so I might fuck it up, but... Uh... <laughs> well, I was... See, I fucked it up, all right? Hold on a second. <laughs> well, I was flipping through the channels on my TV set last night. Actually, I'm sorry, before I do this song, this is a weird request, but I just got this new album. It's the Dave Matthews Band, and it's a live album. And every time he starts a song, he does, like, the first line, and all of a sudden there's this huge uproarious applause because it's everybody's favorite song or whatever. And I know you guys never even heard this shit before, but I thought it might be fun to try to recreate that whole moment right now. Like, if you don't mind, like, I'll just start the song again. If you give me that recognition applause when it kicks in, it'll feel like we're at a rock concert. And... Maybe the, the guy in the bathroom will be like, oh, I better wipe up and see what the fuck's going on in there. So here, yeah, so, all right, here, I'll start it again on the first line. All right. <clears throat> this song uh, called The End of the World, and I hope you enjoy it. Well, I was flipping through the channels on the TV set last night. Thank you. When I came across some TV preacher guy And he was talking about some prophecies And I think I heard him say That tomorrow was the end of the world So then I went into my kitchen And I reached for the top shelf And I grabbed the finest wine that I could find Cause there's no need to save the finer things for later anymore Since tomorrow is the end of the world and then I got into my car and I drove to Liberty and Vine. And I asked some dude where I could score some blow. And then I went up to the prettiest hooker I could find and asked if I could do a line of coke off her vagina. Well, much to my surprise, she said she didn't have a vagina. And much to my surprise, I didn't care. Cause there's no need to not be doing tranny hookers anymore Since tomorrow is the end of the world So have a smoke, shoot some smack, kick a little kid in the face Steal some old lady's groceries Cause there's no need to not be an old lady grocery stealing Little kid in the face, kicking, smack, shooting, smoking, whatever I said, guy anymore Since tomorrow is the end of the world but when I woke up this morning, I took a look around And of course I saw that everything was fine But I'm still gonna have to thank that televangelist preacher guy Cause I had myself a fucking good time Oh, thanks! <laughs>